Oh my gosh. Hazel! Are you kidding me? Almost two hours of work, and this is what I get. A useless project. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I wanted to show you a little project that I've been working on. I feel really bad because I forgot to record it, um, but anyway, I, um, yeah, also you're kind of, you're probably wondering what the heck I did to my hair, that's, that's half what I'm wondering myself, but it looks cute, so I'm just gonna leave it. Anyway, I lost my train of thought, uh, oh yeah, so, um, over the weekend, we lost one of our chickens, then a couple days later we lost another chicken, and I do not want to lose a third chicken at all. So, the problem is, is that coyotes are getting all the chickens that fly out. So I figured, why not keep all the chickens from flying out? So I have come up with this lovely new thing called raising the fence. So here is my project that I did. There is a fence on the other side of the fence, of um, here, over there. There's one there, and then all along here, and one right there, and then this weird looking thing on my gate. Um, I wanted it to not, to still be able to open, but not allow the chickens to get out. But I think they could probably get out here because Miss Hazel completely um, defeated the use of my two hour work using staples, nails, and a hammer, and a ton of stuff. She's eating a dead cicada. Um, hey, hey, you are not supposed to be out. Well, because the problem with that is that if they get out, they can't fly back in. So, that is a huge problem that really needs to be fixed. So, I'm going to have to fix this gap over here. I'm going to add more stuff on the other side of the coop. But I just want to talk a little bit about my um, my project here. So now because of the way that I built it, I have to open the gate um, like this. So it goes out instead of in the pen. Um, it, it is, it's not smooth, but that's okay. And all of the chicken wire is attached to the fence by some staples. Then I have this little security pole here. Um, going up there so that it does not fall over and then over here I have the tall fence that I used to block off the pullets pen when they lived in when they were in their own pen so then it was the perfect length because it starts right here I blocked off this gate because I pretty much never use that and then it stops right by the gate so that is really good, and so now I just have to figure out how to not get Hazel out of the pen. And then my fence is complete because there will be no chickens coming out and getting eaten by coyotes, that's for sure. Thank you so much for watching this super short video that I just wanted to give to you as an update. And I am very hopeful that I can actually fix it because Hazel is not supposed to be out right now. And I don't think that she'll be able to fly back in. So that is something that really needs to be fixed. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.